This is amazing. What if you can add multiple functions to your custom GPT? What if you can integrate multiple softwares, multiple functionality in your assistance API? This empowers ChatGPT to perform multiple tasks at the same time. That's exactly what we are going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about parallel function calling in Assistance API. I'm going to take you through step by step on how you can customize your custom GPT, which has the ability to run multiple functions parallelly. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe, click the like button and stay tuned. Coming to function calling, I've already covered this in detail in another video, which I will link that in the description below. This is an extension of that. Previously, we covered one user with one function calling. In this tutorial, we are going to see how one user can initiate calls from multiple functions and how can we define this in our program. So this user is going to ask, what is the stock price? Give me the USD to British pound conversion and the latest news of the company. In one prompt, we are going to get all these answers. This is the one which we covered before. As a quick overview, get stock price is the only function and we are defining that function in our tools list. And then finally, we are passing this tools list to the assistance.create function. Now we are going to add two more functions. We are going to integrate G news to get the latest news. It gets the company name and it returns the list of latest news. Similarly, another function, USD to GPP conversion. This is using exchange rate API. When you provide a US dollar amount, it automatically returns the GBP amount. Now we have defined totally three functions. One is get stock price, get latest company news and USD to GBP conversion. Now we are going to add that in the function definition. So currently we have only get stock price. I'm going to add furthermore functions, comma type equals function and we are providing get latest company news and similarly type function and USD to GBP conversion. And we are providing this tools list inside assistance.create. And the question we are going to ask is, can you please provide me stock price, stock price in GBP and the latest company news of Apple. So this prompt is going to trigger three different functions. Export your GNews API key like this, which you can generate from GNews website and click enter. Next type Python parallel function calling dot pi and click enter. Now you can see the status got queued. Seems like it got stopped in the middle. I think we forgot to add one more thing. In the function dispatch table, we need to add get latest company news and USD to GPP. This dispatch function table will be provided here. And based on the request from Aston's API requires action status, you are looping through all those three functions and then returning the tools output back to Assistance API using submit tool outputs. I've explained this clearly in my previous video, which I will link that in the description below. So in simple terms, we are adding three functions to our requires action status. In your terminal, Python parallel function calling that pi and click enter. You can see the status got queued. Now the status requires action. You can see the list of actions here. To get the stock price, it's providing the Apple symbol with function name get stock price. And to get the latest news, it's providing the company name, which is Apple. So in this, it called two functions at the same time. Now it's again going to requires action status because once after it receives the stock price in USD, only after that it can call the USD to GBP conversion function, which is calling here and it's providing the USD amount. And finally, the status got completed. And here you got the answer. Hello, Mervin Prison. Here is the information you requested about Apple. The latest closing stock price is approximately $1.189. Converted to GPP, the stock price is approximately pounds 151. And the latest news, iPhone warning notification to MPs, Apple tip to release a large 14.1 inch iPad Pro, Apple CEO Tim Cook's inspiring books, Black Friday bestsellers from Apple, and you got top 10 news. That's it, as simple as that. Now you are able to integrate multiple functions to the same Assistance API. You can also see the same thing in our playground. Get stock price, get latest company news, USD to GPP. This gives extra ability for your custom GPT to perform 
multiple parallel tasks at the same time. That's it. I'm going to create more videos in regards to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.